Please change your name to the original name you have, uh, not some funny or funky names, so that I can identify you. Please tell your other class fellows also not to use their uh, nicknames or whatever. So am I audible? Vishesh? Okay, Tanya. Fine, to, this is B batch now. You can reply in the chat box. So today we are going to uh, do the session of uh, early clinical exposure. Now, early clinical exposure is what you get when you are learning the preclinical subjects. And the clinical anatomy we teach is you can correlate with that early clinical exposure part so that it becomes better for you to grasp the things, how they are happening. So we have already talked about tetralogy of fellow. And this tetralogy of fellow is very common. It's almost one in 2,500 births. So this case is very commonly presented in cardiothoracic and vascular surgeries. That is why I've taken this case. And you already know the anatomical basis of tetralogy of fellow. So here we'll just have a brief overview of the thing and a case presentation. I'll, uh, it's a paper case I'll show you. And then you can outline the investigations and uh, modality of treatment and the anatomical basis of that treatment. Fine. Plus, there is one small assessment and an ECE feedback form, right? So that assessment I'll give you in the class and you have to write reflections of the class. Please, the topic which I have taught, you have to write the reflections and uh, you post those reflections in the Google Classroom. Fine. Uh, reflections are in the form of what happened, so what and what next. study This is what reflection is. And that reflection uh, is like uh, part of your assessment along with the multiple choice questions and a short note which I'll give. You will post all your answers in the Google Classroom and you will get marks on that basis. This is your uh, early clinical exposure assessment. Please tell batch A also because that time network connectivity was not there so I couldn't give anything. It was early in the class only that I lost the connection. So today I'm uh, going to share the screen. So this is early clinical exposure of classroom setting means a paper case is brought to the class or a video of a patient is shown in the class and then it is discussed. Okay. The topic of today's EC is pathology of fellow. Are you able to see the slide? So this is the basic thing that uh, you should be aware of the anatomy of heart, how the tetralogy of fellow develops. And the goal is the student must be able to recognize the relevance of development in the diagnosis and the manifestations of tetralogy. And the competency we use here is demonstration of the alterations in anatomy and its clinical manifestations and the understanding of the principles related to the examination, investigation and the 
management of technology. So this is the topic of basic science, basically. And by the end of the class, you should be able to explain the anatomical alterations occurring in the tetralogy, clinical manifestations to the altered heart anatomy and the examination of heart along with the anatomical basis of correction. That is the surgery we do in the tetralogy of fellow. What is the anatomical basis of that surgery? So that is the prime concern here. You don't have to mug up the treatment part and how the treatment is given, how the drugs are given. It is just to make you exposed to the clinics before going actually to the clinics. Uh, we'll leave this part. Now the tetralogy of fellow. We'll take one by one. Uh, tetralogy of fellow could be uh, caused by many factors. Uh, a viral illness during pregnancy such as German measles, alcoholism, poor nutrition, age more than 40, that is maternal age more than 40, and a previous history in the family, or the presence of Down syndrome or Dijord syndrome. So this is the commonest cyanotic congenital heart disease. Cyanotic means baby turning blue when there is oxygen deprivation. Now this is an animation to show you the anatomical basis. Can you all see the and is it audible also? Voice is there? Fine. These are the four defects. Okay, okay, we just I'll show you the video directly. Just wait. Now tell me. Is the voice there?
Now, is the voice there in the video? Okay, you see this video, it is showing the four defects. Yeah, that's fine. This video is showing the pathology of fellow, how it develops. So there are four anomalies, that is pulmonary stenosis or the narrowing of pulmonary output. Then the ventricular septal defect. Because of the pulmonary stenosis, there is hypertrophy of the right ventricular wall. Okay. And overriding of iota. These are the four defects in the technology. And this is the anatomical basis why this happens. Because of the conotruncal malalignment, this ventricular septal defect occurs. That is why this spiral septum is responsible for the uh, partitioning between the pulmonary trunk and aorta. This spiral septum is basically malaligned. So, there is pulmonary stenosis and the aorta overrides along with the interventricular septal defect. When the uh, pulmonary stenosis is there, obviously hypertrophy of the right ventricular wall will take place. So, this is how the degree of flow is there from the right ventricle to the left ventricle. This is showing the left ventricular pressure is high, so there is backflow into the right ventricle. Here, if the pulmonary stenosis is severe, blood from the right ventricle is going to the left ventricle through this defect. And mixing of blood is there. Now, this low oxygen content blood is distributed to the body through the aorta. And the person is having cyanosis or bluish discoloration. This means there is poor oxygenated blood in the circulation. Now, the these are the test spells are acute deficiency of oxygen while they are having some physical activity. That is, there is shortness of breath, cyanosis, and a baby may lose consciousness. So in that case, it is a medical emergency and the surgical repair of the defect is there. That is the interventricular septal defect is repaired along with the pulmonary stenosis. See, repair surgery is the same. So coming to the sharing again. The signs and symptoms of uh, tetralogy of fellow. It is diagnosed in the first few weeks of life because of the cyanosis or murmur. So babies with tetralogy of fellow usually have PDA. PDA is patent ductus arteriosus. Okay, but when this ductus arteriosus closes, 
sinusis becomes more severe because of this PDA blood is uh, um, normally flowing. Hmm. There is reduced oxygen level and reduced pulmonary blood flow along with the loud heart murmur. This is a case uh, shown. Still, you can see the sinusis with gluing of lips and uh, the surrounding area of the mouth. And the diagnosis is basically made either by sinusis or you can do the physical examination or you run battery of tests that is echocardiography and uh, x-ray test hmm, along with a murmur that is present in the heart. Now when there is tetology spell that is tet spell also known as Tet spell. See, etology spell. There is sudden constriction of the outflow tract because of the um, anatomical presentation that I have already told you. There is cyanosis. Uh, many of times, hy hyperoxia test is also done. Hyperoxia test is they the infants they have normal oxygen levels if the pulmonary stenosis is mild and they are known as pink babies. But if the uh, severity is there in the tetralogy, then they are called as blue babies. Or, or that is also known as blue baby syndrome. The diagnostic test is echocardiography, mm -hmm. where you can accurately demonstrate all the four related defects and cardiac catheterization is occasionally required. So in a classroom setting, an IMG, that is Indian Medical Graduate, a few people are going to be they are um, instructed to observe the video or to see the paper case and look for the symptoms which are presented by the mother of the baby uh, obviously a four month old or a ten month old baby cannot explain so the mother is the best source to explain the symptoms that is cyanosed skin shortness of breath Episodes of fainting may be there and the clubbing of fingers and toes. Abnormal rounded shape of the nose, nail is there. Hmm? Poor weight gain, irritability, crying, heart murmur, um, easily getting tired during play. This is for the a bit elder uh, children like 10 year old or something. The patient presents here with a... Um, Episodes of tachypnea, cyanosis, and irritability during feeding. Cyanosis is bluish discoloration, irritable baby, and tachypnea is increased heart rate. <coughs> the mother explains that these ex episodes have become more frequent with cyanosis around mouth and hands, and they resolve spontaneously. There is no fever or respiratory distress. This is the family history. Pregnancy and delivery were uncomplicated. Mother had two prior pregnancies with no complications. There is uh, no trisomy 21. That is indicative of Down syndrome. She had no alcohol abuse or smoking and vaccinated for rubella. Patient's uh, pulse rate was 140 beats per minute and respiration was 40 beats per minute. Oxygen saturation was also normal, 80%. Lung sounds are normal to auscultation and the heart auscultation is performed and systolic crescendo descent, decrescendo, ejection murmur, that is increasing, decreasing, crescent and decrescent. Fine. Now investigations. To um, find out the case of tetralogy is echocardiography, electrocardiogram, that is ECG. You'll see tall R wave in the right precordial lead and deep S wave. This is, um, you must have been taught about uh, the ECG in the physiology class. So I'm leaving this part to explanation. But there is right atrial hypertrophy, right ventricular hypertrophy, and right axis deviation. Also, there is Oxygen level measurement, cardiac catheterization, X-ray test. X-ray test is also very uh, significant. These are the links in the echocardiograph. 
can see the video. And in the X-ray, there is boot shaped heart. See, upturned cardiac apex. This this blue dotted line is shown. And concave pulmonary segment. This is exactly the scene here. The blue dotted line is showing the upturned cardiac apex and right ventricular hypertrophy. So this is giving the appearance of a boot. That is why the X-ray is also quite indicative of tetralogy of fellow and the boot shaped appearance of the heart is there. These are again the tests. Now this is a cadaveric picture showing you the atrium. This arrow is for the defect, interventricular defect and star. Star is showing you the tricuspid valve. Here also there is interventricular septal defect. This is hypertrophied right ventricular valve. Now management is either supportive or surgical. Supportive management is uh, management is when uh, baby is managed at home. That is, if it is mild cyanosis, mother is asked to keep the child in knee chest position hmm? to reduce the right to left shunt. Right to left shunt is there if the uh, deoxygenated blood is mixing with the oxygenated blood. It goes to the circulation of the in the body and causing the bluish discoloration of the skin. But knee chest position is the one that prevents the sinuses. Then there could be oxygen supply, morphine and phenylephrine. These are the medicinal interventions. But the definitive treatment is surgical repair causing the ventricular septal defect to close and the pulmonary stenosis. That is pulmonary stenosis, which is causing the narrowing of the pulmonary trunk, that is resolved. It is outflow practice enlarged. This is the definitive thing. In uh, untreated uh, tetralogy of uh, fellow cases, only 24% patient, 24 of patients, they live for more than 10 years. And this is a um, case of tetralogy.
So, is it clear now, technology of fellow and how the treatment is done? Yes? Is it clear, everyone? Um, we couldn't see any video. I have uh, given the link in this um, slide. You can watch this video afterwards in the YouTube also. I don't know how this is happening, but the things are like the sharing becomes difficult when there is low bandwidth. That is the basic reason I am not able to show you the videos and you are just able to see the PowerPoints. I'll start this video here only if you are able to see, just tell me. Okay. Is it visible now? Okay.
अब आप लोगों ने देखा हेलो कबीर ओके फाइन so yes, that clears all the queries of tetology of fellow and how the treatment modality is there hmm? so um, we'll move on to the mcq part i leave this this is a a patient's history uh, mother is telling how the things are before uh, the birth and after the diagnosis was made and how the repair was done so you can watch this video and i'll post the um, this uh, presentation in the google classroom this time constraint is there and uh, uh, from 10 o'clock uh, professor ajaz will be taking your class so instead of 3 hours i just have 2 hours today uh, so you can watch these videos later later on okay we'll move to uh, this this is a small video where the surgical repair of a case of tetralogy of fellow is there and you will see this video This is from our college only, CTBS. RP and LP are right and left pulmonary arteries. so what you have to do with this uh, ec you have to focus at the observation that is the history taking examination and the treatment modality related to the anatomical correction mm -hmm. and you have to revise the anatomy of heart so as to learn this topic better now what all things you can take from these observations for example um, you are after teaching this topic i can ask you enumerate at least two causes of tetralogy of fellow or the pathophysiology of tetralogy of fellow right so these are some of the questions which i asked how the presentation is there what you will find in x-ray test what you will find in echocardiography in ecg because all these things i have taught you in the previous slides and what measures can be taken to create congenital anomalies prevention awareness to yahan par jo aayega wo kya aayega jo humne causes dekhe the first slide was there see we'll go back to the first slide alcoholism poor nutrition maternal age more than 40 or the congenital history of tetralogy of fellet in one of the parent or there is presence of down syndrome or dijord syndrome in the family or in the patient itself when the patient is pregnant yeah. uh, i mean uh, the mother is pregnant so these are the few things which you can avoid while creating awareness now uh, these are the questions see uh, you can go to the presentation in the google classroom i have already posted and uh, do uh, the assignment on this topic you have to draw a label diagram of normal heart and the heart showing tetralogy of fellow along with the four anatomical characteristics of tetralogy of fellow 
fine these two questions you have to attempt and uh, like mcq i am asking here only tetralogy of fellow is characterized by which of the following out of all these which one is the correct four defect that you find in the tetralogy of fellow answer in the chat box Okay, very good. Next question. A four month old baby presents with breathlessness and cyanosis. To evaluate the child, which of the following is the most accurate investigation? Fine. Third question. While feeding a three-month-old infant who has tetralogy of fillet, we notice the infant's skin becomes bluish and the breath breathing has increased. Nursing action kya hoga? Out of all these, which one is the most appropriate thing? So with this, I think either the MCQs were very easy or you have fully understood the topic. Which one is the case? Right? MCQs easy, right? No? Are you reply to it? How do you know it? Chat box may he did he reply mat boliye. Yes, they were easy. Now you have half an hour. Write down the reflection of this topic. What happened? What did you learn from this experience? You have to write down your name and roll number and Write it in your notebook, take a photograph and paste it in the Google Classroom. Fine? You have half an hour for this. What are the applications of this learning and what knowledge or skills you need to develop to handle this type of case? Like I asked in the MCQ, if there is a baby in your nursing care, what immediate action kya hoga? What are the applications? How will you uh, apply this knowledge in your day-to-day -day life or you, when you, whenever you find a case of tetralogy of fellow in the family or in the neighborhood, anywhere in the community? And what all did you learn from this experience? So this is how the reflections are written. Kya hua? Hamne kya kiya? And hum aage kya karenge? Okay? So start writing. You have half an hour. It's 9 o'clock, 9.30 p.m. summit. Kar and I'll, uh, at the same time, send you a feedback form. So you have to fill that also and do it in the class only. So shall I go back to the reflections part or the question part? or you write it down in your notebooks and then we can okay you write down these questions also label diagram of normal heart and heart showing 2f along with the four anatomical characteristics of you that is the four defects why it is known as tetralogy of fellow you have to explain the anatomical basis also here in the four anatomical characteristics. Fine. Jot down the questions and start answering along with the reflections. You have uh, you have 40 minutes easily. And while you're doing it, I'll take the attendance also so that I know who all are present in the class. So this is how the reflections you have to write. I'm displaying this page.
that's why his division is not there. Ask your other batchmates, I mean from the batch A also, to um, do this assignment part, reflections and the questions. Meanwhile, attend your roll calls, please. Just seven, six of you are there in the class. This is how the attendance is always there. In the previous class, batch A, there were, I think, total eight people, and now four, uh, seven are there, six. So tell me your roll numbers, Kabir. What's your roll number? 64. 64. Okay. Kabir Heather Z. Hmm? Yes, ma'am. Then Mavish, what's your roll number? 76. Mavish Sati. Chavez. Tanya, Tomar and Vishesh single are also there, no? 97. Uh -huh. 97. Shavis. 97, Shavis. Mama Shavis, Hussain. Okay. Or who is it? 66. 66. Tanya, I have marked. Vishesh also? 55. Zainab Bahab. Zainab Bahab is there. Why Shifa was there in the class? I mean, she's from Batch A, na? So I saw her leaving the class. Did she attend the class today or she just came by mistake? No idea. So, ho gaya pure? Six, hai na? One, two, three, four, five. So, now, I will tell you that you don't have to come to class. Online class, you get to learn something in online class. Now, this is the new normal. So, you have to be there in the class. You will understand something, right? In Google Classroom, I post it, but it's not that you go through. You don't see it. I don't think you people go and see that. I'll send you the feedback form link also. Just hang on a minute.
I'm posting the link in the chat box. Also sharing the link in the WhatsApp group.
you can also whatsapp me your uh, reflect reflect the writing along with the question answers okay
okay students i'm going to end the class now um, you all have to post your uh, reflective writing along with the answers to the questions uh, either in my whatsapp group or uh, sorry either in my whatsapp personal whatsapp or in the google classroom thank you uh also one more information there is no 10 to 11 class uh, just now i came to know that ijasa will not take your class from 10 to 11 so um, there is no need for any meeting joining thank you